Sally YouTube. Today you are going to come with me and we're gonna learn French fast. <laughs> I'm actually here with my French professor Aurélie. Bonjour. <laughs> and we've come up together with an amazing plan which is how to learn French super quickly because in the next three months I need to up my level of French a lot because I'm going to be passing my Delft B2 exam. If you're actually looking for a French professor in Paris or anywhere in the world, I definitely recommend Aurélie because she actually specializes in French courses online as well. So you can find me on my website, which is called uh, parisoclock.com. <laughs> You'll find all the info there. Sharing my love for French and the French culture is a passion. Um, I myself love languages. I've been uh, living in Mexico, in Germany and the US. So I really love learning a new language and helping people who are also passionate about languages. So I'll be happy to help. It's just been so useful to have things fall into place and it's made a huge difference. So I can definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend. Mm. So without further ado, let's get into the video, which is our hacks or our tricks to learn French as quickly as possible from zero up to conversational and strong intermediate within six months if you're living outside of France and as quickly as three months if you're living already in a French speaking country. So we've been working on a concept uh, <laughs> of how to place a little bit of French in your everyday life. We truly believe that with 15 hours a week you will be able to improve your French. So 15 hours a week might sound like a lot of time. It sounds like a lot. <laughs> it does. But we have some really good tricks uh, that will definitely help you. Uh, the first thing that you could definitely do is to put some French in your um, daily habits by listening to a podcast. It's about taking those rituals that already exist. We assume that 30 minutes per day in the morning, you're either doing some sport or you're listening to music or something while you're getting ready in the morning or you're on your way to work or school, whatever it is. But we assume you have 30 minutes in the morning. Uh, there are some very good podcasts uh, in French. Have it on your phone, you put your headphones and mm. you're ready to go. So we have some recommendations. So actual podcast to learn French. The first mm. one is Coffee Break French. And this is a podcast where they actually take someone who speaks no French at all and the first season is about teaching her all of the basics and so you learn along with her. And then you've got season two, three and four which become more and more advanced. Then we also recommend listening to podcasts for enjoyment on topics that you're actually passionate about. And I'm going to put a link down in the description box below with a list of 30 podcast ideas to get you started. thing that you can do is try to think about what you like to do in your free time in the evening things that you would normally do um, maybe you like to watch a series maybe you like to watch a movie maybe you like to watch some uh, YouTube videos mm -hmm. things that you would normally do and try to do this in French for instance I am really interested in in health and food in um, in veganism so right now I'm watching videos about this, this topic doing it in another language of course is a way to practice this language so mm -hmm. find this particular theme that you're really interested in that you're passionate about that you want to learn more about and try to find videos in French exactly a lot of the youtubers out there subtitle their videos for example even me I do all of my videos subtitled in English and in French we'll put some ideas for youtubers yeah. to check out Netflix is pretty easy uh, you just have to switch the language to French you can put the subtitles either in English or in French, depending on your level. Think about your other rituals. Do you watch the news every evening? Why not watching the global news in French? Um, and you know, do you like to listen to music while you're cooking in the evening? Maybe you could change it to French music. And again, we'll link down in the description box below some nice French music that you can start listening to. All of these things add up. We've said that you can find easily one hour per weeknight, you know, Monday to Friday, to be able to integrate French into your daily routine. So that's another five hours on the counter. Another idea to make things really stick is to play with these kind of applications that we have available to us. So what I would recommend is to take something like Duolingo or Babbel and to do it 15 minutes a day. 
seven days a week. So where do you find those magical 15 minutes? Because we're all very time poor. Well, what I would do is in the morning if I had a coffee break, I would take my coffee by myself and I'll do a little bit of work on my app before going back to my desk. Also something that you can do on your commute home, this kind of thing. I think 15 minutes we can find relatively easily seven days a week. So now let's move on to what you can do at the weekend when you have more time. So something that you could do uh, if you like to watch movies is uh, watch a movie in French, of course. Uh, maybe if you're a beginner, you can start with something easy. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, a Disney movie, if you like Disney movies or uh, anime movies. And then once you've reached a higher level, you could uh, switch to a, a regular movie, something that just came out and that you would be wanting to watch anyways. Exactly, and this is perfect because as in, I remember what it feels like to be a beginner. I chose uh, films like The Lion King <laughs> because I knew the storyline mm -hmm. off by heart. It's almost like watching a film with no sound and that you just see what's happening and you know what's gonna happen, it's the storyline. But you don't realize, but you're actually absorbing a lot of French mm -hmm. and a lot of little words here and there, like a puzzle, you know? Bit by bit, you'll start to understand more and more and more. It was gonna come, and I'm so sorry, you knew it was coming. <laughs> the French grammar. Yes, it's tough, yes, it's complicated, but all we're asking for to add to the counter is two hours per week. It depends on how you like to learn, but this... <laughs> Do you want to explain what this is? Yeah, this, this is like a Bible. <laughs> this is the Bible. It, this is the Bible. Even, even for French people, when we are little at school and we need to learn French grammar as well, that's what we use. It's very, very uh, well done. It's very precise. Mm. You find all the rules that you really need to know. If you are someone who enjoys rules and you're someone who likes to write things down and learn things off by heart and this kind of thing, this really is, you know, as Aurélie said, it's the Bible, mm -hmm. so you can't do much better than this. It's very detailed. If you're someone like me and you need something very practical, I need to do the exercises. Mm -hmm. I can read, you know, the rules and it doesn't make sense to me. And then I start doing the exercises and things start to click. And so I use this book, which is uh, Grammaire Progressive de Francais. And actually, you have the beginner, intermediate, mm -hmm. and advanced levels. And it's just there's like one page of explanation and then it jumps into exercise after exercise mm -hmm. after exercise and you've got the answers. Cool. There are lots of like let's say more fun books out there like there's this book the frequency dictionary of French. It's the most 5,000 most frequently used French words, for example. If you're someone who just wants to jump into conversation, doesn't really care about the academic side and just wants to get going, something like this might mm -hmm. suit you a little bit more. There are loads of options out there. I'll put all of the links to these down below in the description so you can buy them if you'd like. Um, but there is something I think important, would you say, as a French professor mm -hmm. about learning the basic rules. Yeah, you yeah. cannot go around. You need to know the, the foundation. It's the foundation of your knowledge of, of French. Mm. And then you move on to other fun stuff, but the fun stuff needs to be connected to the, to the foundation, to mm. the grammar. At the end of the day, it all comes back to speaking, to mm. practicing, to just speaking, speaking, speaking. So conversation is uh, really key here um, for you to improve your French. So this will take uh, just one hour per week. Um, there are tons of things you can do. Probably anywhere in the world, you will find a French club. Uh, you'll be meeting people who will be really happy to practice and speak with you. Maybe uh, there will be an exchange, let's say, uh, if. Rosie was to join, she would speak mm. English and then the people would speak uh, like French to her. It's called um, Franglish, I think, in mm -hmm. Paris, the language exchanges. Yeah. And it's like speed dating, but language speed dating. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have access to such a club, uh, you will find tons of websites online. Um, some will be free, it will be an exchange also. You it works both for speaking and for writing because there are also you know, websites where you can find French pen pals, for example, and this kind of thing. That's why we said at the start that this plan will get you up to conversational and easily and 
six months if you're outside of France, but if you're in France, it's only three months because you have so many opportunities to speak that it should all come together a mm. lot quicker. Just one note on the speaking, and I know it's so easy to say and harder to do in reality, and I was a huge victim of this, so I'm speaking of experience. Like, don't worry about the mistakes. Mm. Honestly, it's like the more mistakes you make, the better, because it learned that much faster. As you guys can see, we've tried to focus really on free things that you can do to self-teach yourself French. But I have to say the final thing that will just make everything fall into place is to have a French professor. And what we're talking about here is 45 minutes to one hour per week for maybe two to three months and you'll see a world mm -hmm. of difference. Uh, this person will follow your progress. Mm -hmm. They will identify the points that you need to work on. They will adapt their class to your specific needs. With a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship, it's really, mm -hmm. it's really helpful and it's really, I think it, it, it goes faster for you to, to improve because it's really focused on, on what you personally need. If you're so super serious about investing in learning French and becoming fluent to the point where you can converse with native speakers, I think it's definitely money that you won't regret spending. You know, you've got French professors like Aurélie who actually, I mean, they don't need to even live in your town. You can do it by Skype. We have no problem paying, you know, X dollars monthly for our gym membership or, you know, think about it this way. You're mm -hmm. training your brain to be able to have a brand new skill and a new language. It's like it's like buying a gym membership for a few months mm -hmm. to get nice and fit <laughs> in, yeah. in French. Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this plan. I'm going to be doing this plan myself. I've got big goals. I'm passing this exam in July this year. So I'm gonna do a check-in video in three months time and we can see how much progress I've made compared to the video that I filmed in French, which I will link up below. You can check that out here and we can do a compare and contrast. I'll speak in French during the video and you tell me if you see the progress that I've made. I hope that helps you guys. I hope it inspires you to get really serious about learning your French, that dream that you want to make a reality. If you guys have any questions, if you have any suggestions for the other learners and you know who are watching this video, please put a comment down below. We can carry on the conversation down there and help each other out but until the next video i'll see you guys next time happy french learning <laughs> and a bientôt, a bientôt bye, bye.